Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to Trade Confident. My name is Travis Martin. I hope you guys had a really good weekend. All right. Yes, Bitcoin could get very scary here very quickly here. So we are going to go over the unbiased analysis of what's going to happen with Bitcoin. Guys, we have to hold this support or we could be going down very quickly. It is a must hold day. We have to hold today. Okay, real quickly, give you guys an update. Um, we got very close to winning a trade on Link. We didn't capture it yet, but I'll be doing a video on that today. Currently still sitting at 101 for 101 wins in this um, you know market that we're seeing right now. As we go down, we're hitting more buy limits. So watch for this to go up faster now because the more buy limits we hit, our break-even entry is gonna go down further and we're gonna start winning more trades. So make sure you guys are signed up and I'll show you in the second half of this video how to get into our membership as well as how to get into our indicators, um, which we are gonna be raising the prices of some. So I will be announcing that in today's video. Okay, stick around for that. Let's dive into the analysis and let's just get really honest with where we're at. Let me just start here. I will be going over the metrics here today for Bitcoin. They are not looking super bullish. We could be get entering into a death cross for Bitcoin, even though we are this low, which is not good. So let's start with this, guys. The current account that I'm in right now, we are currently down 10% right now, about 10.5. Now, if I'm down 10% and I have to, you know, honestly say we are probably the most safe account possibly on all of YouTube with the highest win rate and we use a really good risk management strategy. Like we still have 37% of our cash on the sidelines, which equates to, I would say right around about 30, $32,000 we have waiting to buy this dip even further. So I know most accounts right now are sitting down probably, if I had to take a venture of what we know, about 50 to 60%, maybe even close to 70%, most of you guys are sitting down right now in your accounts. So I know this could get scary because if we break this, guys, we're going down further and there's some other areas I want to talk to you guys about in today's video. Okay, let's dive in here. We're looking at the trend dashboard to start with. This is showing me what retail traders are looking at when they wake up this morning. East Coast is already up. I know Pacific Standard Time West Coast is waking up and most of their indicators here, their moving averages and their stochastic and RSI, these are all bearish today. Let's just dive in here, take a little closer look here. I just want to show you guys where all of our, our buy limits are. We still have a third and a fourth buy limit to hit. We are fine in this trade. I'm not worried about it whatsoever, but I'm worried for some of you guys out there because some of you are not following our strategy and I want to teach you guys how to be more prepared here. This is very obvious that we have to have a bounce right here. Like this absolutely needs a bounce or this could be getting pretty bad. This support here needs to see a bounce. Let me pull in this a little bit bigger. I mean, so let, me, let me come like this so we can just see this a little better. What we're seeing right now is we have this support that has been forming one, two times. And we are literally about to break this on this video right now, which as I mentioned before, we are, we're most likely heading down to that $40,000 level. And that's exactly, we're gonna call that, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Now, look at this guys. Are we bullish or bearish based off the flow of money right now? We are seeing that the well money flow, unfortunately, and I know this is really weird to say, unfortunately, guys, we did push up to the top here. This was low on Friday. We were expecting this little bit of a move back up or move down. We were trying to figure out which one. But when the well money flow got low and trends exhaustion got low, this is how the market moved back up. That's why we're able to predict these moves. Now, we're sitting this morning with the trend exhaustion high and the well money flow high. This is not a good sign. Because of this, we are now heading back down. The way these are programmed in here, they are literally looking at the behavior of traders when you look at the blockchain for the long and the short trades, the buying and the selling. When the trend exhaustion gets very high here, and the well money flow is high, we're gonna see drops. That is exactly what we're seeing in this market today. We're seeing the drop back down. This absolutely needs to hold this $40,000 level or the next structure support that I'm looking at, which we'll go over more, is down here. The first saving grace is 37,000. And then if we break that, it's gonna move down here probably about straight to $30,000. That is going to seriously, I know people who have already had their accounts wiped out who are using leverage and they're just so frustrated. So literally people have blown entire accounts right now. If you guys are down less than 20% in your entire portfolio and you've actually traded, you know, for the last three, four, five months consistently, you're doing fantastic if you are down less than 20%. Really good if you're down less than 20. Excuse me. <laughs> We're down about getting, hey, look at this, we're getting close to almost 11% down right now and we are and we have some of the best risk management online. Okay, watch this. I'll show you guys. Um, uh, let me, I don't wanna get too distracted here. Let's go over here. Let's go to the metrics this morning. If you are looking at this, I have never, I have never seen the emotional index for Bitcoin this low. We are pushing all the way down in the fearful section and waking up this morning, guys, this was yesterday and we're heading down further from yesterday. So I don't know what goes lower than this. If this happens to have a metric value that pushes below fearful, this will be insane. The amount of, of 
a frustration that is in this market is at a, I don't know if I've ever seen Bitcoin make people so frustrated before. Just gonna be completely honest with you guys. If this drops out here, most likely what you're gonna see is us hit a very strong capitulation stage. I want you to look up what capitulation means after this video, but I'll give you a quick summary. It basically means people throw up the white flag and they give up. They just start selling their positions because they're sick and tired of a market not going in their favor. And most people here are hoping the market goes back up. This was the move a lot of people were looking at, you know, to try to get an all-time high breakout. Did not happen. It got crushed. And then a lot of people were looking at this bounce right here, including us. It did not happen. It got crushed. Then this area, we were looking for a bounce back up. It did not happen. If this support breaks and heads down here to around 37,000, people are going to give up and just start selling. Like, watch that happen. It's going to be sad for some accounts. We are not selling a single position. We have $30,000, $32,000 to buy this dip because we are set up We've set ourselves up for success, even on the drop. Here is something that's not looking bullish either, which is just gonna be honest, guys. Blockchain metrics for Bitfinex here. Long trades have been dropping out and short trades actually increased yesterday. So this is actually a further bearish sign, which I believe is what's actually helping us push down here. And we officially have just broken that support. So we're now at 40,260 and watch his account. Watch your account guys as well. Look at this. We are starting to move down even further here and we're probably going to get some buy limits hit here this morning, which is going to be very good for us and very favorable. But this support hover here has to hold. Let's, let's go into that because we're going to dive right in this. Okay. Long versus short trade risk. It's like watching a movie this morning. It's pretty crazy. So we are definitely like anybody who, okay. I know there's people going short on the blockchain here for Bitfinex for short trades, but I am serious about this guys i would not be looking short i think it's actually the best time to be picking up long trades we could be seen and my, my gut's kind of feeling this this morning so I, i'll tell you what my gut's feeling but we're going to keep it strict on the analysis i'm feeling that this could be a ridiculous bear trap to the downside people wake up this morning and get absolutely frustrated they sell and then all of a sudden this thing just starts blasting back up that could be what happens but nobody can guarantee that. Nobody can guarantee what these markets are going to do. So you better have cash on the side this week. If I can if I can wrap up anything and just like be like, okay, here's the theme of this week. It's a you better have cash in your portfolios to buy the dip. Okay. Look at <laughs> this is interesting. Look at this. The price is continuing to go down, but even wells and institutions are pulling out of long trades and they are coming back to even closer to short trades. That is not a bullish sign whatsoever. Usually when you see the price head down further like this, you see the market push up here. And that may happen today on the metrics. I'm, I, I don't want to call it for this because I I honestly don't know what it's going to look like here because we're all waiting for this to update at 8 a.m., which is in about an hour and a half here. 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, this will update. But if this is showing us that they're dropping out of long trades and they're not convinced, this could, again, be this capitulation phase where people people are literally just going to give up and start selling their positions and we're just going to keep dropping. Like, look at this. It's already happening as we're talking right now. People are seeing that support broken and we are dropping 4%, 6%, 8%, 8%, 10% on mana. It's already down right now. That's the biggest one. AVAX just hit 10% down. This market could crash this morning, but do you have cash in your portfolios? That's what this is all about. Support resistance prices, guys. We don't even have a support. We can actually really look at down here because it's so far down. You have to go back in history this far. Like if you go all the way back here, here's where we're looking at. Like if you had to pull like an exact support here, this better bounce at 39,562. If not, then it's going to go down further. Well, where's the next spot? The next spot is down here at 37,000. Okay, 37,324 has to hold. If that is broken, guys, the next structure support is down at 30,000, okay? is 30,000 is not unrealistic for this drop. If that happens, guys, it is gonna be the greatest jackpot time of buying you possibly will ever get in 2022. So you're going to see me switch on this channel and you're going to see me get very bullish and excited because when the market's this low, it is literally like buying your 80 inch screen TV for like 80% off. You want to buy it. Look at this coming out with dollar cost average entries. For those of you guys who want to hold for five to 10 years, this is what you guys are doing. You are buying the dip all the way back down and you're not buying in the peaks. That's what the exit points up here are calling, but you're buying as it goes back down. Okay. That's what this is showing us seeing drops back down. So when this does head back up, we want to be watching for the drop. Now look at this. This literally this week could, this is actually like, it's not, I don't want to say like it's scary, but it actually kind of is a little bit like I'm, I'm just wondering like, okay, we're good. We have buy limits set up, but I'm, I'm worried for you guys out there who, 
who are coming from this place of pump and dump coins, thinking everything is going to go to the moon when nothing ever goes to the moon. And then you guys are in here and you're holding losses. I know most of you guys are down below 50% in your accounts. Like, let, you guys are probably down close to 60 to 70%. If you look at your account right now and you are honest and everyone would take a screenshot, I'm not trying to like promote my account above anyone else's. That's, that's not the point here. But what I'm showing you guys is if you look at it, what your account says, you guys are probably down close to 50 to 60, maybe 70%. All right. If you got paid last Friday, this is why I talked about it on Friday. And I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you got paid Friday, it might not be a bad idea to look to get some entries in here with the buy limits I'm about to show you. Okay get some entries in so you guys can get a better break even entry. So for example, let's say you guys put in a buy limit down here and you guys bought this dip, you know, at, at $40,000. That would then bring your break even entry down further so you can get in the profit faster. That may be something a lot of you guys want to do and assess this morning. Cuz if this actually happens and we get the 200 moving below the 50 day moving average, it's the 50 below the 200 day moving average. That is the green below the red. This will happen over here and this signals a death cross in crypto which could absolutely get extremely bearish. Okay, bearish in here moving down. All right. So make sure you guys are watching that. We could absolutely see Bitcoin head down here, you know, easily this week down to $37,000 and then possibly even $30,000. So make sure you guys have your buy limit set up. Now, let me show you guys, not just saying this, how to predict, uh, you know, excuse me, how to set your money up so it is. Pr um, correctly managed with risk. Let me show this to you guys. Our pricing is $49 a month. Guys, this price is going to be going up. We've told you guys, you know, probably around April 1st of this year is when we're going to be upping this. Here's the thing. Everybody who gets in at $49 a month, you'll get access to all the metrics we just went over for, for Bitcoin and all of our coins, as well as you guys are going to get access into the Telegram channel. Okay. So make sure you guys sign up. This, this is going to be going up in price. Now, with this $49, you guys are going to want to come over here to the live trade section. This is where all of our trades have been called out, all 101. And again, remember, as the market goes down, we hit more buy limits, which actually gives us more favorable positions. So watch for our win rate to start going up here as we bounce back up. Now, all of our coins are listed right here. And we've updated almost every single, I have updated almost every single buy limit for all these coins this morning because we're dropping. But watch what we're going to do on Bitcoin because it's going to be the same thing you do for all of your trades. Follow me here. Seriously. Today is 110. This is going to update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which you guys literally have about an hour and a half here. What's going to happen is you guys are going to take whatever amount of cash you guys want to trade with. And I'll get this question. The most question out of anything when I do calls with you guys, coaching calls, is, Travis, why do we use four buy limits? Is it obvious now why we use four buy limits? Because a lot of people up here, like, yes, we, we haven't even hit our third one. We still have a fourth one down here because the market can keep dropping. I will be going over Ethereum today, but look at Ethereum. Look at this thing tank. We are almost going to hit our third buy limit on Ethereum. I don't think a lot of people thought that was going to happen. This could get like, this is not good, guys. <laughs> this is not good. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. So I, I'm, I may use the word scary in the, the uh, thumbnail, but that's not like an unrealistic thing. Okay. So let's, let's play this out. Let's say you guys have a thousand dollars. You pick the amount you want to trade Bitcoin with. Here's what I strongly suggest. Cause there's nothing. Okay. Let me say this real quick and I'm going to move on here. I just want to make this point. There is no guarantee that Bitcoin's going to head up from here. No guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed, guys. You guys know that life isn't even guaranteed. So what do you think crypto is like guaranteed it's going to pump right here? No. Doesn't matter if you got the t most t highest technical analysis. It doesn't matter if you, you guys are watching the highest win rate channel on all of YouTube for crypto. Like even I want to come out and be humble about this and say, we cannot guarantee if this is going to keep going down or it's going to pump from here. So you must use good risk management. Thousand dollars you put into the market. You're going to take this amount or whatever amount you personally want, and you're going to split it into four equal portions. Okay. Four equal portions are going to buy all four of the buy limits this morning. And literally an hour and a half, these are going to update. 250 at this buy limit, 250 at this buy limit, 250 at this buy limit, and 250 here. Here. Use good risk management. I hope, again, I hope you have cash in your portfolios because this thing could drop fast here down to $37,000 or even $30,000. Okay. Once you have all your buy limits placed and your first buy limit gets hit, place your sell limit up here in green. Again, once your first buy limit gets hit, set up the sell limit shown in green into your exchange for a 100% exit. Watch that. Okay. This is the most important time to have metrics and have a good team on your side is in the crash. It's not necessarily in a pump, although we do really good jobs at calling exits with the indicators, but get the tools on your side during this crash here to protect yourself. Now, here's the last part. You guys want to come into the Telegram channel where I'm going to be calling exits with the indicators. Now, you guys need to sign up on Telegram on your phone or your computer 
computer first on your personal account, sign into tradeconfident.io with the membership and click this link and it will give you a hot link straight into the channel over here where I'm calling exits with the trend exhaustion and price versus wall money flow. Okay, here's the deal on these because I am gonna be upping the prices at the end of this month. I was telling you guys I was gonna talk to my team. I'm officially gonna do it this morning so I wanna make this very clear. Okay, the bundle pack is not gonna go up in price. So let me say this first and foremost. This is absolutely the best deal because we're gonna start pushing over the value of this with the individual indicators you guys need. At minimum to copy the charts, Literally, we, we are not losing trades and we are able to call these drops. I showed that to you guys in the beginning of the video. You are needing to get the price versus well money flow, the trend dashboard, and the tr trend exhaustion. These are the three that I'm using. I am going to be upping. The price of the price versus well money flow is going up at the end of this month. Okay, this is the last month you guys have to get the price versus well money flow before it goes up. It will never be cheaper than this again this month. I told you guys I was doing this. I gave you guys literally like a one and a half month warning and I'm giving, I, told, I promised you that I'd give you a seven day warning. You guys have plenty of time here. The end of this month, I am going to be upping the price of the price versus well money flow because it's too cheap. It's worth way more. Now, if you guys want to come in here and get all three of these, that's great. Use coupon code save money, but it's better now to get the bundle pack because when this price goes up, it's actually gonna be probably cheaper overall to get the bundle pack and you guys actually get nine indicators with the bundle instead of getting three here. You get the three plus six more giving you a total of nine. So I wanna make this very clear because people have been asking about this over email and in the comments. When are your indicators gonna go up? The price versus well money flow, this is the last month, the last days that you can get this for this cheap ever. I'm not gonna have it ever lower than this price again, okay, individually. Now, if you guys have purchased any individual indicators and you guys wanna upgrade to the bundle pack, email us at bebtradeconfident at gmail.com and we'll give you guys a, a PayPal invoice and you guys can just pay the difference for this, okay? In a drop like this, you must have indicators like this on your side. Here's the question you guys are gonna ask. Like, great, now that you guys know about the indicators and everything like that, here's what you need to be watching. What is the, you know, I use this word a lot, the saving grace for Bitcoin here. If the trend exhaustion, watch this on your charts, pushes down to the bottom section here. When this gets down here and we see the well money flow low, wherever that is, if that is at 37,000, if it is 30,000, or if this is just the craziest bear trap you're gonna see of your life and this thing's just about to shoot up to in the next 48 hours, that is possible, that is possible. When you see the trend exhaustion move down here in the lower section and will money flow go low, this is where you guys need to be looking for moves back up. That is where it's gonna stop. So, it's because if you look in the past year of what's happened here, we are seeing these pumps literally every single time. They may not look like huge pumps, but we are seeing the market reverse literally every single time we're getting into these positions here. And you guys can even look at this right here. We are seeing these moves back up in the market when we get down to these areas. You can see this over here very clearly. If we look at every single one of these points, this is where the market is moving back up when the trend exhaustion is low and the price versus well money flow is low as well. That's correlated to this pump right here. Sorry, I, that was a terrible circle. But when well money flow is low and you're also seeing the trend exhaustion though, we are seeing bounces back up. Now in this phase here where everybody's just selling and everyone's getting very emotional, this market will turn around, I promise you guys. And if it's gonna turn around, it's gonna be on one of these bounces here and I will show you guys and prove that to you because you will see that happen. I think what the market's doing right now is it's waiting for a little more people to sell out to get really, really fearful and get this market pushed to the downside. And I think what we could possibly see is a bear trap here, breaking support, bear trapping people, and then a move back up here. That's what I'm feeling. But again, let's take feelings out of this. How are you gonna prepare yourself? You have to have a membership have a team on your side. We are the team to help you guys. So when you come over here, sign up for $49 a month, not only do you get all the metrics to look in behind the charts, you're gonna get the buy limits to give you guys good risk management, but you're also gonna get us as a team, okay? I update Telegram, you guys are gonna get in here and like have me as a personal coach. So if I see things over here, I'm gonna be updating you. I've done a ton more updates from that, that win that we've taken, even on Link the other day. So when you sign up here, you're with a team that we can help you. You're not gonna be alone in these markets anymore. And guys, with the highest win rate on YouTube, and I believe we have probably one of the most stable accounts right now, only down about 11, you know, getting, actually, honestly, getting closer to about 11.8%. This is still fantastic in this crash. Everybody check your accounts. Most likely you're down about 50%. I'm gonna help you guys 
I'll end it here. I'm going to help you guys trade this and stay confident while you're trading and give you good analysis that's unbiased, okay? We could absolutely be heading down to 37,000. That's next structure support and even possibly 30,000 before the end of the week if this really starts taking, it starts moving down. I'm sorry, this is so long. One last thing. You must, oh my gosh, that is literally an official break. Look at this. Here's why crypto is dropping. I didn't, it's actually just updated because I was um, on Bitcoin. This was the fearful thing that a lot of people were looking at and I was looking at on this chart. We officially broke this ascending support line for on the VUG. This is the Vanguard growth fund. I'm looking at this in correlation to the S&P 500. Sorry, it's a terrible line. This was the line that we needed to watch. It officially gapped down this morning and this is very, very bearish. This is actually not good. <laughs> like the more I didn't know this was here. So you guys are seeing me react live about this. We're not emotional about this because we're actually very excited if this market goes down. I'm serious about that. Seriously. But this is not good for because I am hearing in the back of my mind like all these retail traders freaking out right now. This has dropped down and it actually did not bounce from this support here. And that's where we a lot of people are looking for the bounce. This could absolutely start pushing down here to $284. And this market could get extremely bearish, guys. If this moves down to 284 on the VUG you guys, Bitcoin is going to $30,000. Okay. Bitcoin is going to $30,000. If VUG heads down here to structure support, look how far we've come down from the high here of where we're currently at. And look at what that is correlated with Bitcoin. That drop you guys are seeing is this drop right here. That wasn't that far down. Look at where $30,000 is. So look at that drop there and look at this. It's not much further. It's actually a lesser of a move down to 30000 than what we've done already. Well, that makes sense because from where we're at to you know this level, if you guys look at this, we're very close. It's about the same percentage move from here, from there to here. This could hit $30,000 on Bitcoin now that I'm seeing this new data. And But here's a little bit of the other thing I want to show you guys. Gosh, there's like so much. I didn't plan on this video being so long. The trend exhaustion is so ridiculously low right now on VUG. We'll call the S&P 500, well money flow is so low that this again, guys, I want you to watch for the bear trap to the downside, trapping a bunch of traders because this could get extremely bullish. This could see a move back up or it could just see a continual capitulation move back down. So watch it. I'm going to end this video right here. Make sure that you guys are getting the indicators to watch this as the market's going down for the pump back up. Watch it. Most exchanges are probably going to stop trading this morning because they're afraid that people are just going to sell everything. Watch Coinbase to possibly go down. Watch Binance. Watch some of your stock trading portfolios actually go down this morning to actually stop the drop. It will probably happen. Get the indicators before they go up in price, guys. Get those on sale. Get the membership so you can actually trade with a team and we can be here for you in this drop, okay? Once you guys have this, you guys will be able to come over here and start trading with us and you guys will be able to you know, access us and, and have us over email. Get in here with this membership, okay? God bless you guys. Don't freak out. Make sure you have cash on the sidelines to buy this dip. And if anything, start celebrating because this is the best times to be buying crypto. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Everything you need is in the description. I am going to be upping the price of the price versus well money flow indicator at the end of this month. So please get this. This is the last days you can get this before it goes up in price. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.